हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट ईवीएस वन टॉपिक आर वी एंडेंजरिंग आर एनवायरमेंट द प्रोग्रेस मेड बाय ह्यूमन बीइंग्स मैन इज मोर इंटेलिजेंट देन ऑल अदर एनिमल्स ही मेक्स यूज ऑफ हिज इंटेलिजेंस टू मेक हिज लाइफ मोर कंफर्टेबल ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स मेक यूज ऑफ व्हाट दे फाइंड इन देयर एनवायरमेंट but only man can carefully study the things in the environment he produces new things from materials in the environment this is the story of about 150 years ago researchers found out how to use mineral oil man now had a new and useful fuel to use he then invented some vehicles that would run on this new fuel This includes the motor car, bus, truck and scooter. They also developed railways engines that would run on coal. Previously, if one had to travel to another town, one had to walk or ride a horseback or on a bullock cart. Various animals were used to carry burdens or draw the carts. Now we go by bus or railway lines, railway trains. that that helps to save both time and labor we take up various schemes to make our life easier and prosperous we build dams to satisfy our need for water we build roads and railways for transportation factories are set up to manufacture all the things we need we build houses so that everyone can have a shelter of their own the things we need to do all these have to be obtained from the environment we get them from places like forest farms and mines water is used in the factories and then the waste water is let into rivers all this has an effect on the environment if the environment is harmed it has harmful effect on all living things and man he man is no exception growth of the population people could not get employment in villages so they began to leave and to go to the cities in search of work cities became crowded the population in the cities grew beyond limits cities began to experience a shortage of water there were not enough houses for everybody so people could not find a place to stay there was there used to be open spaces and fields around the cities new colonies came up there and to build these new houses and colonies the trees there had to be cut down In the cities one has to travel long distances to get to work so people in the cities began to buy vehicles that run on fuels in all big cities these vehicles spew smoke as they are driven around the smoke mixes with the city air as a result people began to have breathing problems instances of asthma and other lung disorders began to increase in this way air pollution is also caused trees have been banished from cities so birds do not find places to build their nest they also find the smoke in the city air troublesome they are no longer sure of getting water when they are thirsty so there are fewer and fewer birds in the cities now so that the number of birds butterflies and other insect is also falling because of the increasing population the drainage system in the cities fails sometimes then water collects in the midst of the living areas mosquitoes grow in it they spread diseases like malaria dengue filaria and chikungunya we have learned today vehicles like motor cars buses and scooters that run on mineral oil were invented so to wear railway trains it made traveling easier 
we release waste water from factories into rivers it causes harm to the environment and living things in it as the population keeps growing the demands for things we get from the environment also grows in leaps and bounds air pollution caused due to increased vehicles as trees are felled birds butterflies and other insects in cities are falling do understand the concepts and revise at home thank you